Good morning, fellow traders. Welcome to the Daily Scan for Wednesday, April 30th, 2014. Okay, for announcements for yesterday, Case Schiller Home Price Index um, came in a little bit higher, so um, homes are appreciating uh, faster than they expected, and a consumer confidence they were looking for 83 and it actually came in at 82.3 I don't know um, exactly what that means if that's a big difference or not apparently not based on the behavior in the market yesterday um, today we have the ADP employment report gross domestic product and employment cost index all prior to the market open and then a little bit later is um, let's see, Chicago PMI and the petroleum status report and then the FOMC meeting announcement at 2 o'clock so what's the monetary policy going to be I don't know but they sure hang put a lot of weight on it there, don't they? Okay, let's go to see what's going on across the ponds. We are mixed in Asia, about the same as yesterday, and Europe is pretty much red to um, not going anywhere, based flat to red across the board. All right, well, let's jump over here to take a look at the U.S. futures. Um, slightly red across the board here as well and gold is down to 12.92 and oil dropped 96 cents overnight all right uh, what happened yesterday well not much we had a bunch of 20 deltas we were looking at and we had a setup on on Igor and then I talked about the LinkedIn earnings announcement and I was picking a direction we'll talk about that as we go we'll talk about all these as we go through the A plus list and see that uh, also got in on a trade on RUT and the Q's was that the Q's yesterday I'm not sure we'll have to take a look at that all right, so I'm going to, in order to make sure that I cover it, I'm going to add root to my A plus list. I took that, I looked at IWM, and it just, <laughs> I, uh, you know, with a short term trade, uh, one to two weeks on IWM at a 20 delta, there wasn't enough uh, credit there at all to justify the trade. You know, and just to make any decent amount of money, what I had to do five to ten positions or contracts or spreads, I should say, which would have been 20 trades and would have cost me um, $25 just in trading fees alone to make a hundred bucks. It's just, uh, I couldn't do that, so I looked at rut and uh, decided to go with that instead of IWM. If you're going to do something else, like with a maybe a little bit higher delta, a little bit further out, might be worth it. But when you're looking at just like a two-week trade or a one-week trade, uh, there's not much there, if you know what I mean. Okay, and then the other thing that I wanted to show you, remember I was talking about, let's go back here too, let's start out with Apple. I was talking about... Um, doing a 20 moving average and seeing how that compares and if we can you know get any sort of additional indicator out of that I did that I uh, added it here and I'll show you quickly how I did that and got some different colors here uh, the thing that I did was I went into the edit strat uh, studies and strategies I went down here and I grabbed the Option Guru Exponential Moving Average here. And I just highlighted it and I said Edit. 
and it's a pretty simple thing right so I just highlighted everything here and did a control C which gave me a copy hit the cancel button go over here and say add study or I say new I'm sorry say new uh, do a control V to paste that study in here and you can see that it checked out okay and then I wanted to change these colors here because we have it's white and red if you remember and I wanted to change them so I'm trying to remember where where I found the colors <laughs> You can tell I'm not, let's see, statistical here, no, look and feel, oh, here we go, color, there, no, that's not it, I'll find it, hang on, alright, I found it, it's here, under constraints, and then you uh, can go ahead and click on this color arrow and you get the all the different colors that you can use so I picked out I think I picked out light green and light orange for mine so all you have to do is just go over here and um, if for if you want it uh, whatever color you want for it to go up it so it would be after the greater than so you would change this white to say orange light orange and then you would also change this to light orange and then you would change this to um, say green or you know however you want to do it these two colors have to match the first two the white and then you have white again and then you have red and you can set the line weight to anything that you want so, and then of course you have to name it and you cannot have any spaces in your name so it's as easy as that all right so we'll cancel out of there a little quickie lesson on modifying this so you can see here let's go back to here as I left my uh, SMA 50 on there and then I turned off my exponential and this is how I turned it off was I just unchecked the show study and it just turns it off it still leaves it in the profile and now I have this one which is the 20 day EMA changes to 20 and then <clears throat> excuse me you can pick whatever style of line you want and whatever width you want and I turned off like the show bubble and show title and I just have show study and show plot checked and that's it and you end up with this which is the 20 EMA so I just simply named it option guru OG underscore EMA underscore 2 so I know that it's a another new OG SMA or EMA alright enough about that we wasted a lot of time on that let's go back to the A plus list we're looking at Apple um, we we're waiting for Apple to come down to our target Amazon I must have squeezed something here okay Amazon we have a target set here Boeing we have a target up here Baidu uh, we're not sure exactly what's going on with Baidu so we're looking at the 20 EMA here and it it's still it's below the 50 so that to me definitely tells me that things are sort of negative 
Um, we don't get a big steep decline here in the 50, but the 20 is staying below it. So that being the case, we're going to throw a target up here for Baidu. Celgene. Uh, this is a 20 delta target, and it looks like we're going to hit it. This is a 20 delta setup, so I'm going to add that to my 20 delta category. All right, Chipotle. Uh, everybody had pretty much a nice day yesterday, so that's good because now we're getting into, we're getting ready to maybe get a setup here on Chipotle to get in on that. It's going to be kind of a thin week, I can tell already. Uh, Costco is probably in a new uptrend since the 20 has now crossed the 50, or it's going to. So that's why we have our target set down here. CVX um, didn't come down here and grab this, unfortunately, and now we're just way too close to earnings for anything here. So I'm going to delete all my drawings on this one and sort of start over after earnings. Take a look at the Dow. Had a pretty nice day yesterday. Uh, kind of destroyed this head and shoulders pattern with the price action yesterday. The 20 is um, still above the 50. And we did not, I looked at some trades on this and uh, again, pretty much the same thing with IWM. There just was not enough premium and I didn't want to go out any further than um, this expiration here. So I took a pass on it. Major support at 147. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. Okay. We had a setup yesterday. How does that happen? We had a setup yesterday on Igor. Um, had a nice start to its day here, and then had a pullback in the afternoon, which happened to a lot of the stocks yesterday. Um, earnings coming up here. This is next week. We still could do one for this week. So this is alertable, so I'm going to put an alert here. And or above, that's good. So I'm kind of asking a lot of this stock right now. I'm asking it to get above the high from yesterday before I consider getting in on it. Need momentum, and that's what we're all about. Momentum trading. All right, FedEx, that was a couple days ago. Uh, we're in on that one. It's above our short strike. So far, so good. F5 Networks. Uh, we're coming up here into our target area. We are in, we're looking at this as a downtrend, so that'd be a bear call target up here. Waiting for that one to mature. Gold. Uh, we're still hanging in there with our gold trade, which I believe was uh, pretty close to a 20 delta for this week. Google. Uh, we are definitely in a downtrend here, and our target is set up here for Google. I would, if we uh, have a bad day today, this to me is... Um, it's in setup territory for Google, as far as I'm concerned. So, taking a look at this, should put it on our setup list. Yeah, I think I'm going to add this to my setup list, and that would be a bear call too. Uh, IWM. Um, we can just kind of we'll just move right on, I think, and take a look at Rudd. This was for a 20 delta trade. 
LinkedIn. Okay, so uh, at the open yesterday, I bought the put. It was probably like about you know ten minutes or so after the market opened. <laughs> you know, they saw me buy that put, so they just pumped that baby up like you would not believe. It looks like it's going to open up again today, but I'll just hang in there. I'm down three hundred eight dollars already. So what I did was I bought a June 150 put. It's kind of pricey. But the reason for going out to June was to uh, keep the time decay down a little bit as I waited for this to uh, decide what it was going to do. Sometimes it gets confused about that. Okay, so we're still looking for... This is purely a directional trade on earnings, which is tomorrow after the market closes. So we'll see how that goes. All right, uh, 3M. Uh, we are in an uptrend. Didn't quite get down here and give us an entry. That was kind of an earnings uh, mess up. So we're looking for sometime in the future a target down here. Netflix. Uh, Netflix had a good day today or yesterday. We have a target set up here. We're just waiting for that one to come. Definitely in a downtrend. A very steep uh, movement on that uh, moving average. So price line looks like we're in a downtrend here. Um, a lot of people trade off the the 20 day moving average whether it be simple or exponential uh, well you know when they when there's a break in that they reverse their position basically but you can see here that you know you're not still not hitting the peak and that's the deal with many indicators is that they are lagging the actual sentiment I guess on a stock but that's okay you know you can't uh, you can't hit them perfect every time. If every time you went up to bat, you were going to get a home run, well, you know that just doesn't happen. So we have a target set here, and we have earnings next week. The Q's uh, did enter a 20 delta trade here on the Q's, um, which you know collected pretty fair amount of uh, premium now it looks like we're gonna we're still gonna be okay today on that if things continue the way that they are right now uh, did not do could have uh, condorized this possibly I don't know if I had enough time for that so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about it right now so the Russell I don't think I marked this um, there's a bunch of old drawings on here, so I'm going to delete all the old drawings. Hang on. All right, I put my uh, drawing in here, and so we have a short at 1090, and that's for expiration next week. Uh, spiders. Didn't do a trade in that. Uh, looks like we're still in an uptrend. Oops. How did that happen? Huh. TLT. Uh, we're still in TLT. It's working out pretty good. Tesla. Um... There was an opportunity here. This is the first day, actually. So now we have an alertable trade. So go, come on, Tesla, prove it to me. Prove it to me that this is for real. And almost done here, UNP. Yesterday, no, they uh, 
I didn't get on my list. Oh yes, they are, there they are. They're a twenty. This is a twenty delta. Is what I was going to do with you and P. Forgot to take a look at it. Didn't look at everything as I was going through this yesterday. This might be a still is a good twenty delta play. So I'm going to put that in there for today. And last but not least is Visa. And Visa's in a downtrend and we have a target set up here. And we need to just let that one stew for a while. Alright, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.